Now, let us shift our focus to something threatening to kill us all, artificial intelligence. Yes, the AI tools that are going viral also have the potential to cause our extinction, almost exactly like in the Terminator movies. And we aren't the ones saying this, it is the people who created the tools. There is a letter released by AI developers and experts yesterday. It says, and I quote, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. And so, they are comparing AI to pandemics and nuclear war. Let us look at who signed it. Top of the list are Jeffrey Hinton and Joshua Bengio, two of the three people considered the godfathers of artificial intelligence. Hinton quit Google earlier this month. He said it was so that he could warn people about the dangers of AI. He recently spoke about how AI could turn on humans. If you want to go to Europe, you create the sub goal of get to the airport. And then you solve that sub goal. And for any complicated goal, you want to create sub goals. And it turns out here's a very good sub goal for almost anything you want to do um, get more control. If you get more control, it makes it easier to achieve other things. So once these things are able to create sub goals, them being very smart, I think they will quickly realize that if they got more control, they could realize their goals much more easily. And once they want to get control, things start looking bad for people. So if you're a skilled manipulator, and these things will be extremely skilled manipulators because they'll have learned from all the manipulations people ever did. So they'll be much better than a person at manipulating us. They'll be able to manipulate us into doing whatever they want. It'll be like you manipulating a two-year-old. So they don't need to pull levers or press buttons. The idea of air gapping them and everything will be okay isn't going to work. Then there are the CEOs of the leading AI firms, Google, DeepMind, Anthropic and OpenAI. Yes, even OpenAI, the firm behind Jack GPT, which arguably started the AI arms race. Even Sam Altman believes that there is a risk of extinction from AI. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. He's asking governments to get involved. He wants to work with them to stop the AI apocalypse. Altman has flip-flopped on the issue so far. Earlier, he said he didn't want too much regulation. He even threatened to pull out of Europe over upcoming AI regulation there. But then he backtracked. Now, with this signing of the extinction letter, it seems he's completely sure about the dangers of AI. Altman is traveling around the globe, meeting world leaders to discuss AI. He will meet European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen tomorrow. He is also expected to visit India next month. Speaking of India, New Delhi is also looking at the threat posed by AI. It is expected to lay out guardrails for the technology in the upcoming Digital India Act. The law is set to become public next week, but the focus is disinformation, not annihilation. It seems that the world has not grasped the scale of the danger. Politicians seem more focused on how AI can peddle disinformation, how it can cause problems in upcoming elections, which is also valid. It's already started in the US with AI-generated deepfake videos doing the rounds. But they are missing the forest for the trees. That's just one of the problems that AI brings. We think the end of the human race is the bigger issue here. Politicians need to focus on the big picture before it's too late to stop the rise of the machines.